Hey guys, how's it going? We're we'll looking at the front of this little 2000 Mazda Protege. This is a car I've had a while. This is a 1.6 ZMDE engine with a manual transmission. And it is jacked up. We're doing some work on it. And let me preface this video by saying if you hear horns blowing, tires screeching, people hollering, people talking, it's because it's getting to be Memorial Day weekend and the party's on in this neighborhood. So, as it always is for any reason to have a party. So don't mind that. So here's what's going on. You see a couple starters here laid out in front of us. One is the one off this car. One is the one I bought from the junkyard. That's the one off the car here. That's the one from the junkyard. So you may ask yourself, well, why do you have two starters out on here? Did one of them burn up? One of them quit? No. None of that. Here's the deal on that. This car, uh, Mazda Protégés with manual transmissions used a direct drive starter for many years up through the late 80s and 90s up to this car which is a 2000 and I think maybe the 2001 1.6 used this starter here. This is a direct drive starter. It's an old style starter. It sounds old. It turns kind of well it just sounds old and kind of grumbly and rough and things like that. It's not my favorite sound in the world so I wanted to see if I could find a lighter uh, gear reduction starter for a protege that would work on this car because let me try to explain this so it makes it even a little bit of sense. For whatever reason Mazda used two different starters between uh, automatic and manual transmission 1.6 and 1.5 engines. Uh, 1.6 is specifically found in the uh, 99, 2000, and 2001. After 2001, they went to the F series engine, which is a 2.0 liter in all of them. So, I wanted to research and see if I could find a starter off another engine, another car that would work in here. That was a P mag starter, I call it. So, I got on O'Reilly's website, that's O'Reilly Auto Parts, and did a lot of research. It took me quite a while. And finally found the starter I think will work and that's this one and I'll tell you what it's from in just a minute but here's the criteria that I had to go by uh, came evident early on this starter has an eight tooth pinion in it which is this right there that's the part that contacts the flywheel so obviously the starter that goes back in has to also have an eight tooth pinion on it which that one does so what I was concerned about, I was wondering why did they put a direct drive starter on a manual and a PMAG on gear reduction on an automatic and vice versa. I thought well there has to be a reason for this and what I wanted to do is I thought if I could find a starter, the one I thought would work cheaply at the junkyard, I can grab it and we'll do an experiment here. So here's what I found out without a lot more talking about it. The only starter that I found that we should interchange is a one year only starter which is a gear reduction permanent magnet starter for a 1999 1.6 shut up dog 1.6 uh, automatic. For whatever reason in 2000 and 2001 the 1.6 automatic starter changed part numbers so I don't know what they changed, I don't know if they changed the flex plate or the transmission or what they changed, but it has an eight tooth pinion. The, the pattern looks exactly the same on these. These only use two of the bolts. They use this bolt which goes through to the transmission and this bolt here which comes through the transmission and screws into the starter. The connections on the back are the same on the same one. But this st st starter here is quite a bit lighter and it's a lot more torque. This is an old design. This, is, this starter looks like it's been replaced and this one looks like it's original because it's got BPD4 on it. I can't make sure of that, but it looks like it's original. So that's good. It's better than rebuilt junk. But you know, this starter is a dent so. If you look on it, it says dent so made in Japan. So it's probably as far as. Uh, 
starters go, it's probably a decent rebuild, but it's not the original. This is either a Mitsubishi starter or a, uh, who else makes those? I don't think it's, I don't think it's nipping dent, so. I know this one's a Mitsubishi starter. You can tell because if you look at the end of it, right on here, you see the Mitsubishi symbol cast into it. People, a lot of people may not know that Mitsubishi and things like that make a lot of different. Oh, that's why he's barking. He's a good dog. You know, there's a threat out there. Hang on, hang on. Come on, camera. Yeah, just don't focus on anything now. Just give up. Yeah, by the time we get the camera over here, the dog's walked over there. But there's a big dog over there walking around loose. So I have to shut this down. So anyway, I'm going to try this out and see if it works. Now, the starter for a 1.8 liter manual or automatic will not work. The one for a 2.0 liter manual or automatic won't work. The one for a 2000 to a 2001 1.6 automatic won't work. So... Matter of fact, this one might not work, but we're going to find out. This starter only cost me a few bucks, so I'm going to give her a shot. I'll get back to you in a little bit, guys. See ya. Okay, then. Well, looks like my guess was correct. Seems to work fine. I'll demonstrate here in just a second. But uh, first, there's something i got to show you elsewhere. The party's on. But that's not what I wanted to do. What I wanted to do was, you said you'd be ready. All right, now that that's out of the way. That's much better in my ears than what that thing did. I plus that thing every once in a while, after like I turned the key and it didn't do anything for a split second. So. That clanging under there, that appears to be the catalytic converter making noise. Which is right here. I don't know why that's doing that. But. Anyway, I don't much care. I'll fix that down low. Down the road if I need to. This poor car, you can tell when a car has been run really rough on rough roads and run hard because it's just a constant process of trying to chase down various noises. I stop one somewhere else and another one starts. I stop that one, there'll be one back there start. <laughs> but anyway, it's, it, it's a good enough car. We ain't worry about that. All right, guys, so, damn, it's getting worse. So let me go over here and just recap real quick what I did. If you have a, at least a 99 or a 2000 to 2001, 99, 2000, 2001, manual transmission with a 1.6 like this car had, then you can get a starter off a 99 only automatic 1.6 and use it on this one if you just want to upgrade it so if you have to buy a starter you can use that one no 1.8s no 2.0s no 1.8 automatic no one no 2.0 automatics no nothing that specifically has to be a 1999 1.6 automatic thanks for watching guys have a good one